Now daylilies are something we've grown in this garden for years. I've not really appreciated just how architectural they are at this time of year. This is a clump that's been here probably for three or four years. You see it's spreading out very, very gradually. There's all sorts of different varieties. It is a, a range of plants that has expanded exponentially over the last few years and the range that you can now get in garden centres is really incredible. We've got three or four different varieties here and some have been moved and split quite a few times but I do like moving and splitting daylilies and it is something that once you get an established clump like this it really does benefit from division and putting into some fresh soil. But this season I just want to encourage you to consider a couple this time of year you get this beautiful fresh growth and it's quite architectural really quite spectacular and against the silvery blue of the foliage coming up from the daffodils just behind and for the different scales that you're getting there's a little one just coming up here just see that's emerging from this soil it's just lovely to watch these coming up and apart from the beautiful flowers that you get later in the season then to grow them for this architectural green foliage in March is another good reason to consider growing some daylilies. So what do you get when you dig up some established clumps? Well this is what comes out of the soil. I like dividing these things because it's not too difficult and the roots aren't too fibrous. You can see these have been really well established. I've got three different clumps in this wheelbarrow. I think they're probably all the same variety. Although the foliage colour on this one at the back is slightly lighter, so that's probably a different different colour. These are having to be moved because the builders are about to start work on the border where they were growing. But I'm pretty confident that we're going to get probably 15 or 20 clumps out of each of these. So we're going to start working these apart. Daylilies are lovely, you can just do it with your hands. And if you do it at this time of year, the benefit really is that you can see just how many shoots you're getting out of each little bit of crown that you're establishing and they do tear apart quite easily if you work the soil off them get some of the weed out the problem with these is they've been growing somewhere where we've had very little attention to be honest under a very established shrubbery they haven't flowered particularly well but they have got a bit of bindweed root and some ground elder probably running through these but you can just with brute force just tear bits off and you'll get little plants like this. I aim to get a crown with probably 15 or 20 of these in each clump to replant. And if you do that, we had to move some in this border last year because of the path going through the middle. Uh, come with me now, I'll just show you where these were planted out last year. So here we have those plants I was talking about. They were just healed in last season. Torn apart at the root ball, which they do quite nicely and just dug in here in full growth, in fact in full flower. And that's how tough and forgiving they are. But these are coming up in this position now and growing so healthily this year. I'm probably gonna leave them in here and have them as cut flower. Daylilies aren't an ideal thing to have in vases because as the name suggests, they don't last for more than 24 hours in a warm environment. Or I may just grow them in this cutting garden and enjoy the display of color. I can't remember again what colour these are, so we're going to have to wait until they flower to decide where they're going out in the garden. Well, I've been working this clump of daylilies for a couple of minutes now, and you can see here's a typical root ball that you'll get with these little bulbous uh, root systems on them. Now, I could quite easily tear that into another two or three, and if you're buying them commercially from a garden centre you'll probably be lucky to get more than about half a dozen crowns but if you're dividing really big clumps like this then you can be really quite generous. I'm just going to tear this one a little more to get it apart. There we go. See how easy they come apart once you get them working into smaller bits and all these little plants here are going to shoot away. Individual plants if I just show you one this is a, a tiny little example of a root ball with a crown and a shoot coming out of it. 
you could plant them individually if you really were using a um, precious variety that you only had a small clump to but with these once they've got established like this you really are spoiled for choice with masses and masses of really healthy looking young plants now we're going to start planting these aim is to get them at the same level that they've been growing at in the soil but try and get some nice new fresh compost around the base of all these roots without any air pockets and then these should get straight away growing and they should flower later on this season so you can see what colour you're getting and I've probably got out of one clump one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven 12 new clumps to plant out and I'm just going to plant them in a row in this border to grow them on until we can see what colour they are and then move them later in the season to their permanent position once we've established their colour. Well and here's the end result of my work this afternoon. Three clumps all divided nicely in individual rows because trying to keep the varieties together I suspect a couple of them are probably the same but we're just going to let these grow on here during the spring. Uh, let them come into bud and see what flower colours we've got and then when we know that we'll label them up and move them to their permanent positions. They should grow on really nicely here. They've divided well. They're looking very healthy considering they've just been healed in. Uh, we've got rain forecast this afternoon so I'm not actually uh, coming out to water these. The soil's nice and moist but if they look at all soft tomorrow or the next day then we'll come and give them some water. And hopefully 33 plants out of three clumps to give us a really good display in the coming 12 months.